News headlines 1st March 2021 Prime Minister of India Mr Narendra Modi takes made in India Covaxin Bharat Biotech as India widens immunization drive people above 60 and those who are 45 or more and suffering from certain medical conditions are now eligible for the vaccinations India, which has reported the highest number of COVID-19 cases in the world after the United States, has so far vaccinated more than 12 million health and frontline workers. India has reported more than 11 million coronavirus infections and over 157000 deaths, reports the Reuters. From today March 1st, India has begun its next phase of coronavirus vaccination to immunize senior citizens and people with comorbidities in the age bracket of 45 to 59 years. People aged above 60 years only need age proof to get a vaccine shot, reports the Indian Express. Private hospitals can charge up to rupees 250 per dose for COVID vaccine, the Union Health Ministry on Friday had said, reports the statesman. Six states continue to lead India's COVID surge, center Russia's high-level teams. The Union Health Ministry has said that six states Maharashtra, Kerala, Punjab, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat are behind the current COVID surge in India and account for almost 86% of the new cases. Maharashtra continues to report the highest daily new cases at 8,623, followed by Kerala with 3,792 while Punjab with 593 new cases reports the Times of India. Tamil Nadu logs 479 new Covid cases, three fatalities yesterday reports the Times of India. Tamil Nadu extends lockdown till March 31st. Offices, shops, marketplaces, and industrial and commercial establishments will continue with staggered working hours reports the NDTV. Donald Trump says he has no plans to launch a new political party, telling a conservative conference in Florida that it would split the Republican vote. In his first speech since Democrat Joe Biden became president, he also hinted that he might run for office again in 2024 reports the BBC. Myanmar coup, deadliest day of protests yesterday 28 February 2021 as police open fire. Police have fired on protesters in Myanmar killing at least 18 and 30 wounded. The UN Human Rights Office said, deaths were reported in several cities including Yangon, Doi and Mandalay as police used live rounds and tear gas, reports the BBC and the Reuters. Myanmar protesters march again today 1st March 2021 after bloodiest post-coup unrest yesterday reports the Reuters. Dozens of leading Hong Kong pro-democracy campaigners charged with subversion, reports the Reuters. Dr. Anthony Fossey, the top U.S. infectious disease official, said on Sunday he would take the newly approved Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, as he encouraged Americans to accept any of the three approved shots, reports the Reuters. The National Highway Authority of India NHAI, recently created a world record by constructing a 25.54 km single lane of the four-lane stretch between Vijayapur Solapur on the NH52. 
This news was confirmed by the Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways, Nitin Gatkari via his official Twitter account. This feat was achieved in a record time of just 18 hours. He further mentioned in his tweet that this achievement will be added to the Linka Book of Records soon reports the NDTV. Iran hits 60,000 coronavirus deaths, bans people from 32 nations amid rise in cases reports the New Indian Express. ISRO launches successfully 19 satellites under new business unit. The ISRO has launched DRDO's satellite, Sindhunetra, to monitor activities in Indian Ocean. PM Modi congratulated Nzil and ISRO on launch of PSLV C-51 Amazonia-1 mission, reports the New Indian Express, the Statesman and the Asian Age. TN Assembly polls, BJP, AIADMK meet, discussed seat sharing. AIADMK which leads NDA in the state election offered to share 15 seats with BJP in assembly polls. BJP seeks 25 seats from AIADMK in Tamil Nadu. The indications are that the Tamil Nadu ruling party was driving a hard bargain in offering up to 21 seats for the BJP in its alliance retaining the PMK as its major ally. The party have to spare for ally DMDK, with whom the talks began on Sunday night at Minister P. Thangamni's house. An announcement on the deal is expected only on Monday today. MNM leader Kamal Hassan's meeting with All India Samtuva Makkal Kachi, Aizam, Chief and actor Sarath Kumar and members of India Jananaga Kachi, IJK, today once again triggered a buzz about a third front taking shape in the state, reports the statesman and the Deccan Chronicle. A day back, AIADMK allots 23 seats to PMK reports the Hindu. MK Stalin files application to contest from Kolathur for third time. A day before, Stalin's son and DMK's youth wing secretary Okayanikil Stalin submitted his application to contest from Chapwak. Reports the News Minute. India hits back at UN Human Rights Commission chief for remarks on farmers' stir. Kashmir reports the statesman. Senior Congress leader Gulam Nabi Azad praises PM Modi for being frank about his past as T. Seller reports the Hindu. BJP set to retain power in six Gujarat municipal corporations, reports PTI News. Kendri Vidyalaya's online exams for classes 3 to 8 begin today reports the Indian Express. Former Tamil Nadu senior cop Rajesh Das booked by CBCID for sexual harassment of a woman IPS officer. Das has been booked under section 354, outraging the modesty of women, of the IPC and sections 3 prohibition of harassment of women and for penalty for harassment of women of the TN Prevention of Women Harassment Act. Sources said the fear also makes mention of Chengalpa to Superintendent of Police D. Kannan, who admitted that he had tried to stop the woman IPS officer when she was on her way to Chennai to file the complaint against Das. Kannan claimed to have done so on the orders of Das, who was his superior officer reports the New Indian Express. Due date for furnishing GSTR 9 and GSTR 9C for financial year 2019-20 to extended till March 31st with the approval of the Election Commission of India reports the statesman. PM Modi to inaugurate Maritime India Summit 2021 on March 2nd tomorrow. 
Maritime India Summit 2021 MIS 2021 is a virtual three-day event. It is being organized by the Ministry of Shipping Ports and Waterways from 2nd to 4th March 2021 reports the statesman. Thank you please subscribe to iIntelligency News to get updated important news regularly also. Like and share if you really find our videos useful and informative. Thank you.